Hey guys, what's going on? So, it's been a while since I did any um, other than car related vids, other than when I started streaming. And I want to say thank you to everybody that jumped in uh, into my stream. There's going to be more of that. Um, so, some of you guys are new, probably don't know, but um, what I'm going to do with my channel is I'm going to create some playlists too to make it a lot more easy to navigate because I know not everybody might be into some of the other things I'm talking about or doing. Uh, mainly here for the CRVs and the Hondas and um, trust me that is going to continue and evolve um, and keep going in fact I have a, a pretty cool idea about a new video I'm gonna shoot probably later this week about that um, that's gonna be car and Honda, Honda related uh, but I wanted to do this um, far as as some of you may know I'm a big Dragon Ball Z fan anything Dragon Ball I mean very very big more so, I'm not as huge into collecting like crazy amount like posters and, and all kinds of stuff like everybody is. Um, I, I wish, you know, I had time for all that and stuff like that. You know, maybe one day I still want to create like a gaming, you know, slash man cave. Um, but first comes the badass garage. <laughs> um, once we get a house and everything, uh, that's going to be our next investment in the next few years. Uh, we are really planning to find the perfect house. We may even go out and rent uh, something for a little bit uh, just get out of the townhome apartment style um, and try to see if we can find something pretty cool that would be cool to rent for a little while that have good garage space and everything so yeah you guys stay tuned if I do that I'll make a video of that and see more of the family and uh, some of the fun so I, I wanted to say uh, before I get started in this video number one shout out to, or shout out to my number one fan uh that i don't think i say enough about and and anything uh is my wife um you guys wouldn't even have crv tom and everything i do probably if it wasn't for my wife i mean she's my number one supporter and um she, you know blessed me with my two children and uh not to get too sappy in here just uh she's an amazing woman and she's helped out a lot and uh baby if you're watching i love you and thank you for everything you do and um you know i just wanted to say thank you because I, I don't think i say you know that enough um she's the reason guys why i'm able to do this and uh her support has been great um but going back to this i'm going to be doing some uh the car videos um all different things on there uh, I love to cook actually and I've always been told I cook really good and we have lots of family that cook I'm part Italian so uh, I definitely uh, my grandmother was straight from Italy and uh, did some awesome recipes and things I found out and I also like to cook uh, from burgers we got things we call uh, Martin's uh, meat mountains and all that or CRVs you know Tom's meat mountains honestly so we got some cool stuff and then uh, basically my brother from a, another mother you'd say uh, is hopefully coming down here soon. Uh, the one I told you about, uh, OFC Ragstash, check his channel out. Um, I put, you know, a little picture like I usually do of his channel. Um, so that'd be cool. So I'm gonna be doing some like cooking stuff and some barbecuing things and things like that, and tips and, and tricks. And so I'm gonna put that in the playlist. I'm gonna put the cars, all my car stuff situated in different playlists. Um, and then I'm going to do gaming with streaming. I also picked this up for the PlayStation, uh, the camera, and it should have a built-in mic. If it sucks, I'll go buy another mic. But that way I'll be able to stream PS4 games. And then probably in the next month I'll be buying this thing called the Elgato that's going to allow me to stream um, all my Xbox One X uh, games. And then when a Series X comes out and all that stuff, I will be buying a Series X and PS5 when I can get my hands on them. Um, but that Elgato will allow me to stream Switch games, um, PS4, I can even do that way, um, Xbox games. And as you guys know, if, if you pay attention, I'm more of an Xbox fan. I love all games. I grew up with every type uh, I've been playing since original Nintendo. But uh, I'll be doing the gaming and then, you know, just interests and things like that. Like Dragon Ball Z, I collect mainly the Blu-rays. DVDs all that stuff I like to have but I want to do a video on this because I thought this was pretty cool I may put it up for sale because I'm not a big you know keeping these things But this was a limited edition. and I know you can still get these I Think at a few game stops, but they're sold out at a lot of game stops are you know I think they're pretty much done with the run uh, this was with the Dragon Ball Z Kakarot 
and I completely forgot to share this when I was doing the review on the game. That's another thing I'm gonna do some more reviews on the games I beat. Um, I'm novice to that, new with how to do the review, so I'm gonna go and, and try to learn more about that and kind of make that more interesting for the gaming side. Um, like I said, I, I have a lot of hobbies. Um, I like to say I'm a jack of all trades, master of none, because uh, there's so many different things I like and then like to do, and um, it's time consuming, especially when you're a family man. Uh, to get the time to do it, but I try not to give up on it because I'm a firm believer in the inner kid in you is a good thing to keep um, and and being a man and being serious when you need to be is also you know important but don't get too serious don't think yourself too serious and don't get too childish you know balance and everything in life is very important um, so I try to remember the things that brought me joy and I've passed Dragon Ball Z started with my family. In fact, I've got my wife into it. I have my kids into it. And it's a big bonding through all the Dragon Ball stuff with all of my uh, family and the fun things we get to do. Uh, and to include even my dad got into it. Uh, you know, and he was um, uh, He-Man, Master of the Universe, and, and G.I. Joe, stuff like that when he was younger. Those were all his style stuff. And the old Spider-Man, which I like all those too, trust me. But uh, he really got into this too. So that was cool. Um, but anyways, enough talking. It's like six minutes of me talking and blabbing, guys. So I'm going to show you guys this. This was the Fig Pin collection that you could get with uh, the Dragon Ball Z Kakarot game. And as you guys know, if you look down further, uh, you'll see my review and unboxing video of this special edition one with the statue and all that. Well, I went back and picked this up because I forgot all about it. And uh, basically what it is, is this Fig Pin set. And you guys can see... You have, we'll go in order of basically, you know, his main enemies. So you have Vegeta and Odozara form. Um, and obviously that was the first big build up to the Saiyan saga. Then you have Frieza in his uh, fourth and final form at that time. And that was, you know, the big build up then. Um, and then here's a spot for Goku. And what it is is you could buy Goku doing the spirit bomb in the Frieza saga. Um, and Boo Saga, I guess you could say, depending on, you know, if you really look at it, I think it looks more like the Frieza Saga when he was doing Spirit Bomb. Um, you can get it with glitter. It's like a glittery looking one. And honestly, I wish I picked that up too, just so I had the complete set. But I, I can't find it anymore. And then I have the more rare one, from what I understand, uh, which is the one that came with the game for the pre-order. So I have that in here. And yeah, it should be Cell. And then Majin Buu, because if you're going to go in the order, um, so you got Perfect Cell and then Majin Buu uh, in his kid form, his final form. Um, so yeah, it was definitely, um, it was cool. I wanted to pick it up. So we're going to slide it out of here. Just got a sleeve on it. It is really nicely done. Like so I'm not big into the fig pins and stuff like that. I have a, that other really rare one. Um, but I could not... Definitely could not turn down how nice this case looks. So, as you guys see, it's a very well put together case. That opens up front, is basically like almost like magnetic. And then what we have here is the Goku fig pin background. You guys can see I took him out of it and put him in the case, but I didn't want to get rid of this because it, it doesn't uh, fit. It comes with a um, its own case. So it says unlock awesomeness, and then if you were to set it up as a display you have in the back, you can set it up where he has the spirit bomb going over him, which is pretty cool. And then if you look in here, like I said, that's why I kept the Goku uh, wrapping because he has his own back there. So if you look in there, it has each one of them. And I will pull them out. so you can see them. I'm not going to pull them out of the case because really it's it's not much different from what you guys can see. The camera's pretty good other than the glare, but I'll go through the glare. So let it focus. There we go. So, I mean, pretty pretty damn good attention to detail. Uh, Vegeta going grade 8, Otozaro form. There's the back. You know, it's just a picture. So, yeah, that's Vegeta. And the case is pretty sturdy, other than there is, like, the the black ring around it. 
um, that it has. That's kind of cheap, I'd say, but then the rest is like really nice foam and everything to hold it in. There's a uh, final form freezer. Not max one, you know, not as 100% max power boost at that time when he powered up all muscular wise. Um, but yeah, pretty good attention detail. It's the Frieza Saga version of him, I'm pretty sure, when he was at his 50% of his maximum. Um, yeah, and I'm a big DBZ nerd. Like, I can remember most of the stuff. So that's one thing, like, may surprise you guys or may not, but yeah. I, I love it. I love it. It got me into martial arts. It got me into training. Uh, it got me into MMA before my back got hurt and different things. Uh, it's inspired a lot in my life. Um, got me big into lifting and weights uh, and uh, everything I was doing at one time. Uh, like I said, all before I busted my back up. So, But that's uh, Goku. That's the pre-order special one. That's not the one with the glitter. I do think the glitter one looks actually pretty, actually cooler, but this is supposed to be rare, and, uh, or rarer, I would say, you know, it's not probably the rarest one, but yeah, they did a good job of that, and the cases are awesome, um, the cases are very well built, actually, for, for what this is, you would think they'd be cheaper and, and crappier, but they're not, and there's Kid Boo. so at this form, a lot of people like to argue but this was the strongest natural form without being absorbed uh, uh, absorbing anybody so at this form as just boo he was the strongest uh, he was at which is uh, definitely interesting if you don't believe me go do some more research on that and it will tell you more about that um, now absorbing other characters yeah he was stronger but and that was actually where his most pure evil too so that was also made him a little bit more dangerous. And then here's my favorite villain. A lot of people like Freezer or Boo more. I like them, don't get me wrong. But Cell is my, my favorite villain. I like his intelligence, his intellect, everything the way he's just a smart ass. How he has everybody's uh, uh, cells in him. That's, I think he should come back. I really do because who else but Cell has the chance to... You know, turn into a, a a basically god version of himself. I mean, he has the cells of Goku, everybody, Piccolo, all that. Um, also, if, there's, if I do have any hardcore DVZ fans in, leave in the comments, hit a like, help me out, share this. Um, let me know if you have some DVZ groups on Facebook or something, uh, because I got a lot of cool ideas and just things I'd like to discuss about uh, what I think they should do with Piccolo and different things and and some sagas. I, I think it would be cool. I know fan made is the fans have been making a lot of cool stuff, but I think he should come back because I mean he has the opportunity or the potential to go golden for him like Frieza. He has King Cold's blood in him or King Cold selling him. He has trunks. Um, or no, he doesn't have trunks. Sorry, there was enough of it in his DNA at time. So he has uh, you know Goku, Vegeta. I just I, to me the the. The uh, possibilities are endless. He can do everything they can do. He, he has it in him. There's nothing that he can't. And he can learn new skills and new techniques and grow stronger. And every time he gets defeated, he has Saiyan DNA. So he's going to come back stronger if he's not completely killed. So if he was wished back somehow and brought back, I think that would be actually really cool. So yeah, guys, that's just it. This was a GameStop exclusive. I don't know if you can still pick it up. If you can, I do know that those are going up in price on eBay every couple of months. I've been watching them, and they are going up in price, so I'm interested in where that will be. Um, I probably won't hang on to that forever. It's just one of the things, just like the, the Best Buy kit and the uh, Pops and things I got. There's only a few things that I'm really sentimental about. It's definitely you know the Blu-ray DVD collection stuff I have. I I've always liked those. And, of course, anybody, anything that somebody gets me, too, is like a special thank you or something. I always hang on to that. So, like, these ones right here, um, my mother-in-law actually bought me when they went to, uh, like, Barnes & Noble or something like that. Um, and these are a little bit more rare, too. Not that rare, I mean, but they're a little bit harder to come by. I found people asking for them. Um, this is from the Broly movie, and this is Kid Vegeta. So that's pretty cool. And 
I didn't expect this. You know, I was like, wow. So, you know, between that set, the rare Super Saiyan Goku I have, and then here's another mini uh, Kid Broly. I thought was really cool and I like the minis for the kids because I mean that just makes sense you know what I mean that feel I feel like they should have been that size anyways but see if I can get focus in here sorry guys it's the TV is shining and everything else so kind of pain in the butt but yeah you got it so I just wanted to do that and that was one of the things I wanted to share um, there'll be some other stuff. I got some other collections and uh, pre-order stuff that's pretty cool and things like that. Um, and I got some more unboxing videos to do where technically, I mean, I've already opened it, but I still have the box, everything solid, and uh, do that. So if you're interested in gaming or DVZ or anything like that, let me know in the comments. And again, please give me a thumbs up or, you know, thumbs down if you didn't like this content. Again, um, if you don't like this content, totally understand if you don't want to watch it, uh, I'm, I'm not going to stop it because it's something I like and I'm going to do it on a uh, page, but I'll make it in different playlists so it's not so confusing. Uh, so give me time over this weekend. I will do that. Um, and thank you guys for all of your support. If you did watch this video all the way, thank you. Um, you know, be, stay tuned for the giveaway and everything else. Sorry, I'm really tired. Usually when I do these videos at night. Um, it's pretty late, but, uh, yeah, thank you for the support and the love guys. Uh, I was seriously amazing, awesome stuff. So stay tuned. I really believe that, uh, myself, my wife and the things we're gonna do with my family going to make this channel even bigger and then friends and people are going to get involved that already are talking and in the works. So, uh, definitely, um, stay tuned. I think you're gonna, you're gonna like this channel within, give me some time. You know, I'm not a person to rush everything, so it is going to take throughout this, this end of the year and next year. But I think things are going to really take off. So thanks a lot, guys. You guys are awesome. Appreciate everything. Thank you so much. And stay tuned. If you don't win this giveaway, because I got a lot of people entered, it's been, it's been really cool and some awesome messages from you guys. I uh, made it really hard. If I was personally picking, this would be really tough. But thank goodness I'm doing it through the app that generates it and picks a person. Um, so I don't have to feel bad. No, but, um, there will be more. I already have some stuff I'm going to do, but I'm going to take my time between. I'm not going to do too many too close together because that, uh, you understand it's coming in my pocket, but definitely stay tuned. All right, guys, you guys are awesome. Have a good one. Good night.